kikosi cha simiti ni simiti mawe ni mawe na mchanga ni mchanga mko hapo good come this week we shall have a conversation with a structural engineer who will help us understand the factors that you need to consider towards the appropriate materials that you need to use in the building of your structures foundation i'm martin gvenji and this is to jenge build it better They say a solid rock can build a foundation. But kwa ground. Victory different. Not all rocks are the same. Some can lay a solid foundation while others can sink your dreams of owning a home. So, which materials are the most appropriate to use while building the foundation? Yes, just the foundation of a house. That's a footing and this is still I met with Benjamin Nyawade, a structural engineer who is well versed on what to do or not to do in the step by stone process of building your foundation. Tunajenga nyumba. Of course, we are starting from the very foundation of it, quite literally. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so, which stone is for what? The dense one, mm. but is uh, probably the stronger one. Mm -hmm is for load bearing yeah and uh, you can see it's it's quite dense it doesn't look porous yeah and it's also heavy yeah now yeah i can i can yes, i can the, experience the less dense one <laughs> yeah. looks more porous yeah and uh it's not good for carrying load mm. you could use it just uh to enclose a place uh, mm. in the building mm. partition for example mm. and it's also light so in the ulisema ukirushia ingine utajua Ah, you Perfect half. Imekatika. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. On this side, mm -hmm. uh, materials being used are concrete. Mm -hmm. Concrete basically is a mixture of uh, different components. Eh? Mm -hmm. There is the coarse aggregate, which is commonly known as uh, ballast. Uh, then there is sand, there is cement, and they are all mixed in certain ratios. And mixed with water, mixed thoroughly, and then placed in position, uh, compacted, and allowed to to set. Okay. Now. The materials for the walling mm -hmm. would uh, most affordably be the natural stone. Mm -hmm. What you hear being called Darugo or Ruai or mm -hmm. Ngong. Bona Zinito is. That's the location where the quarry is. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Do the different stones have different properties? Yes, because um, it dates quite back, but it's, it's uh, how long the, the rock has been there mm -hmm. and how dense it has become. Mm -hmm over time okay yeah so you'll find a uh, stone that is much older will be stronger and denser. and more dense yeah yeah kwa nini tutumie mawe na bado to connect hizo mawe na simiti mbona tusijenge na simiti tu yote ama tutumie mawe peke yake kwa sababu simiti peke simiti ni expensive yes hata ukitumia mchanga peke yake it's very expensive uh -huh. So Mawe, you take advantage of ile, ile nguvu iko nayo, the natural strength. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you only use mortar, mm -hmm. which is a mixture of sand, cement, some water, mm -hmm. to join them, mm -hmm. to stick them together, mm -hmm. so that they don't fall over from where you've laid them. Okay. So that's, that, that's, that's the whole uh, principle of using the masonry wall. You save a lot in terms of uh, cost. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So cement at least here tunajua yeah. is processed in uh, in factories yes. and you you tend to cut mahali. Yes. Ah, yeah. And then we have the the gravel. Yeah so this is this is obtained from the quarries eh? mm. where they have uh, installed crushers. So they crush and they get uh, sizes that are different. Mm. So this is sieved, this is passed through sieves, eh? mm -hmm. chungi in a vibrate. Mm -hmm. so the small sizes in a pita, the large, ivo, ivo. So easy pia kabla zimixiwe wanachunga tena, ama saa hii hapa. Hapa na ikisha kuja hapa, mm -hmm. 
ni kutoa tu hii nyasi hii na ah, na miti miti washed, eh? yes hii soil iko nayo sio mzuri mm. it needs to be washed first mm -hmm. kabla ichanganywe mm -hmm. so this is the coarse aggregate you can see it has uh, large large particles yeah eh? yeah uh, hii ni kama hata 6 mm inaenda mpaka 3 quarter inch eh? mm. this is coarse aggregate okay yeah. As I was growing up, me nilizoea kuona mchangarawe, sand, yes. ni red. Wapi? Ni isiolo. <laughs> isiolo, okay. <laughs> I grew up in yeah, isiolo. Yeah. So, of late, na realize I'm seeing less of that sand. Changa squeeze almost in in a Caribbean cement. Yeah. Almost yeah, nafanana yeah, cement. Baka nashindua, ai, kwa ni mtu wako daring aje, ana mix mchanga na cement, yeah, alafu yeah. anaiacha tu nje. Yeah. Kuna kuna places ambazo ziko na naturally occurring sand. Eh? You, you can see it almost everywhere as you walk, you are walking on sand. But uh, not all places are blessed like that. So this is pit sand mm -hmm. and uh, the quality is not controlled, it occurs naturally mm. and that's why you need to have an engineer uh, to help you check whether it's the right quality. Mm. Uh, a pit may have good quality sand this season mm -hmm. and then after it has been mined for say uh, about three months. Mm -hmm it changes. Mm. Now, they're just trying to get some sand from there. So yeah. they end up getting uh, sand that is not very suitable. Like we said, you know, Haiji replenish. Haiji replenish. Imeenda, imeenda. Mm. Nobody's controlling. Unlike at the quarry where you can go and buy uh, uh, quarry sand, mm. uh, the, the sizing is controlled. Everything about it is controlled. Mm. So you get consistent results. <laughs> Now, how do we go uh, around checking that? In a construction site when materials are brought, they have to be checked. First, visually, mm -hmm. if there is doubt, take a sample, go to the lab, check it. Mm. If it's not suitable, you stop, you, stop, you stop getting it from that source. Yes. Because now the quality has deteriorated. Yeah. Because even from the same source, two months later, three months later, things should, could be different, you don't know. Mm. Maybe they got a big order and uh, while you are taking your three lorries, <laughs> somebody has taken 50, uh, 50 lorries. 150 <laughs> lorries. Yeah. And so the next time you go there, but I just took it the other day. No, yeah. somebody else has mined the wood one. The quality is yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. The stones that are used for construction yes. of foundations, yes. is it different from when foundations are in Meisha, now it's, the walls are going up? Yes, because um, uh, below, below the ground floor, below whatever is under the ground, mm. uh, under, in the ground, uh, you know there's a lot of groundwater also. Mm. When it rains, it becomes wet and so on. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, there are two things you want. You want to control uh, the area under your building such that it does not keep uh, the, the, the water does not go in and come out easily. Yeah. Why? Uh, because if you allow water to go in and out all the time, when the water goes in, the soil under it expands. Eh? Yeah. When it dries, it shrinks. So yeah. that movement is what your house is also some, moving. <laughs> yes, and it might result in uh, your house cracking. Collapsing, yeah. yes. And they're also strong. Mm -hmm. uh, quite strong and can help also with uh, resisting um, pressure from the backfill soil. Mm -hmm. Soil, you know, when you put back soil in the excavations, mm -hmm. you know, it pushes against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So this. this oh this. yes, yes, yes. Because I want to make to make Yes. Mchanga lazima tuludishe. Yes. Alafu wapo katikati ndiyo tuna wekelea mawe before we now put the cement on the top. Yes. So where foundations are not very deep, it's okay. It can work. You don't need any concrete. You don't need to make it stronger. It will work. Okay. What dictates the depth of foundation? It is the type of soil. Sometimes you can go deep and you don't find any rock. This is true. So what do you do? Yeah. So that's when you decide. Uh, you have to stop somewhere. At the minimum, the foundation is supposed to be at a point where during normal seasons, when it rains, eh, 
water does not penetrate that deep. But uh, in certain types of soil, like uh, if you ask me a black cotton. Yeah, it's yellow. It's black yellow. cotton, do you see? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Black cotton. Iyo ina sumbua sana. Mm. Sababu, iyo ikinyonya maji, mm. it swells extremely Very much. Yes, yeah. too much. Yeah. And that is why anywhere Mali kuna black cotton, mm. the first thing that comes to mind is iyo kitu tutue yote. Mm. You will tend to go, a bit go very deep. deep. Not all along the perimeter. You can choose to only take the pillars down to the, the farm ground. Eh? Uh -huh. To the farm layers. Eh? Yeah. Just the pillars. Mm. Then uh, this wall that forms the perimeter, mm. uh, it can be started maybe slightly. Oh yeah, because I've actually seen that sometimes where kwa mahali imechimbwa, yeah. na kuna mahali kuna katikati kuna kabisa. shimu imeenda zaidi. Bas, hiyo ni apila. Yes. Columns. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the name of the mixture of uh, changara, of, uh, of mchanga, uh, semiti na mawe. That's the name. concrete. It's a concrete. It, that's concrete. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Na hii ya ku joint uh, mawe yeah. ni mota. Concrete it has got uh, cement, mm -hmm. has got fine aggregate which mm -hmm. is sand, mm -hmm. and it has got coarse aggregate mm -hmm. which is ballast. Mm -hmm. And they are mixed with water mm -hmm. to form concrete. Mm -hmm. And both are mixed to specific ratios. To specific ratios. Yeah. If you get away from that ratio, you start having problems. Does the type of, uh, you know, the environment yes. that uh, you're building in, does yes. that dictate? It actually depends on the kind of coarse aggregate of ballast you have, the kind of sand that you have, mm -hmm. the type of cement you're using. Mm. Even the water has to be water that is uh, at least, at the very minimum, it should be potable. Mm -hmm. Should not be just water, you know, mm -hmm. that has got impurities. Goja. Kuvu na niambia, nikiya mwa kuanza kujenga. Sedi ntachukua tu, na niambia mchanga si mchanga. Bala si bala. Bala si bala. Simiti si simiti. Simiti si simiti. Lazima ni hakikishe. Na wacha ni kuna simiti. Kuna vile zinawaka. Na simiti ukinunua uwache hapo ikae sana. If the, if the environment is humid, uh -huh. inaanza kuharibika. Sasa si watu wana, si watu wana ambiwagu wa wacha kununua hizi machakula dunanunuwanga. Anza kuweka simiti saa hii. <laughs> Ni kipanga kujenga 20 years from now. Weka pesa. Nunuwa <laughs> <laughs> eh? utapewa wile iko fresh from the factory. Uh -huh. mm. you, I think it's possible, you can pay. But you see, a lot of people... Ideally, some even, you know, unaenda unanunuwa tu mchange nyu utanunuwa, balase nyu utanunuwa, yeah. uh, Simiti ni utanunua, yeah. then ndiyo hiyo, anze ni kazi, Actually, changanyeni. Hata, hata, hata hivyo unasema, kuna wengine, mm. the construction starts, atawo, nani anasupply ingi mchanga? Nani uh -huh. anasupply bala? So, they're just being brought, eh? yeah. kujui inatoka wapi. Yeah. Imoje imetoka maimahi, it looks like this. Another one imetoka mlolongo, it looks different, mm. different properties. Eh? Mm. Eh? So, kia... Bala stingina mepata tu mahali hapa, mutu wa megonga gonga na... Mm. Na nyundo. Mm -hmm. mm. So ideally you're saying also it's not advisable to mix? No, it is not advisable like, to mix. Like, ukiamua ni mchanga inatoka maimahio, yes. we nangana na yes. maimahio mpaka umalize. Yes. Hey, interesting. Okay, so... The other, the other sensitive material ni simiti pia. Ukiamua umefanya test yako, umefanya trial mix yako mm. na tuseme that particular type of cement. Mm. The minute you take a different cement, mm we might get different results. Different Maybe result. not so different, yeah. but different. Mm. Alafu, mm. so you know chuma pia? Mm. Yeah? Oh yes, kuna chuma pia. Yes. Yeah. Wa, wa, Kusabu, mbona, simiti, mbona, mbona hizo chuma? Simiti, uki, uki compress, mm -hmm. yeah? ikuna nguvu ineza finyo kabisa hiyo haina shida. Mm. Lakini ikifika time ya ku, kuikunja, eh? mm. it cracks very fast. Okay bending, eh? mm. it cracks very fast. Mm. And that is where we introduce the chuma. Mali, if you want to a crack, you can make a chuma. That's why we have to make a foundation. You can see that when you get the chuma, there is a chuma. There is a chuma that is in the middle of the chuma. If you don't have a chuma, you can make a chuma. There is a thickness of the chuma. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. depending, depending on the weight, it is in the middle.
Wacha tuingie kwa chuma sasa. Yeah. So hii ndile kiatu, hii ndio kiatu ya kwa. Kiatu. Yeah. Uh. It's called a spreader spreader footing, eh? mm. The reason they put these stones is to create a form. Yeah. To contain the concrete. Yeah. Uh, but there is a better way of doing it. Mm. Uh, and this still the reinforcement still kuna wakati inaweza enda hivi tuseme kama nyumba imetingika. Mm. Ikienda hivi hii hi pila inaweza ika crack. Mhm. Sasa kazi ya hii chuma ni hiyo kuienforce. Na hiyo sasa chuma yao haiwezi crack. Eh kuireinforce. Chuma unajua iko strong hata yeah. ukivuruta haivurutiki so yes. it holds it together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. Mm. So and the thickness is dictated by the weight that it needs to support. Yes. The higher and the person the building, who decides the thickness mm -hmm. is the structural engineer. Mhm. Mm Kiali mchanga si mchanga mawe si mawe si miti si si miti. Hmm. So nikitaka kuzinunua uh, ninasaidikaje <laughs> kwa sababu clearly I also won't know hmm. what exactly I'm buying hmm. and you know in what hmm. ratios or proportions hmm. to have them mixed. There are those people who know what good sand is. Hmm. They know what good ballast is. They know what good cement is. Hmm. Are we saying those are engineers, those are engineers or con those are engineers con or competent or competent uh, uh, very competent technicians right? mm -hmm. but uh, I'd advise if you have an engineer on the job uh, let him have the final say Jumtu anasema ah hii three bedroom ninatafuta engineer yeah. nini engineer yeah. anafaa yeah. kuenda kujenga yeah. apartments yeah. akishafika huko hata ingine ifiki huko at third floor ndio ianza ile kuleta shida yeah. hapa tu na koroga ya kwanza unaona yeah. Now Actually, you need to go back and correct what you've already done. Actually, How do you correct the foundation? Kuna nyumba nimeingia ambapo maji ilianza kusip yes. kwa ukuta. Yeah. Yani all the walls, yani either it is living room yeah. or bedroom. Kuna maji. Kuna maji unaona hapa chini. Hapa kuto hapa chini hapa kwa aka ka base. Kwa wall hapa. Umeona sa rangi imeanzia kuchipuka chipuka. Na sio si chache nyumba ziko nyingi ziko hivyo. Yeah. Why? It is not waterproofed. Uh -huh. yeah, you need to you need to keep the water out. We say that. Eh? Uh, yeah, true. You need to keep the water out. Yeah. If the water finds its way into the building, that is what will happen. Your paintwork will peel, it will look unsightly, it has itanuka. Mm. Hapo sana sana. Unasikia una kama una... maji ya nje kama ni mingi. Uh, utakutana na maji ndani. Kuna nyumba unasikia it's always Tiles stuffy. Itabanduka. Stuffy yes. always weather yes. ku, kumekauka yes. ama kumenyesha yes. the yeah. room so is always stuffy. Sasa kuna pia dirisha ziko chache but mm. if there is enough uh, ventilation mm. na bado iko stuffy hiyo. Mm. So you're saying there is value in having an engineer on sure. my site hata sure. kama ni my one bedroom house. Sure. Chances are hata kama ni hiyo si unasema iko tu maybe hata atakusaidia tu free. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fear. Just talk. I am Just going talk. to take you for your talk. word. You've said that on national no, TV. Wewe nitakukujia. Hawezi kataa kukwa ku advise. Harry u Jenga na engineer iku cost hiyo kidogo extra. Kuliko ukose kutumia engineer, alafu later unakuja kufanya repairs zenye haziwezekani. Yeah. Because many times aita kuonyesha kabla upande true yeah. so you'll find whatever you did down there was not right uh, maybe hapa chini hauku hauku kuna kitu inaitwa hardcore eh? mm nikishachimbwa hivi kabla kuweka slab ya chini kuna mali unaweka hardcore mm. hardcore ni hizo ni mawe mawe, mawe imevunjwa vunjwa yeah. but it's not very fine eh? they are mm. big they are big pieces eh? mm. Yeah. Mm. now the hiyo hardcore iko na kazi yake mm. usipoiweka ile u, water ina inapanda by capillarity ile unyevu inatoka kwa udongo inakuja mpaka chini ya floor mm. alafu after some time unapata 
tiles zako zinabanduka zimeanza kufura eh, fura. Fura, fura mawe mchanga simiti hiyo uweze kosa mm. are there alternative materials to that mm. and sorry are they cheap <laughs> um, if if you don't have to go into the ground mm -hmm. then there are many other alternatives and, and at what point now, wouldn't you need to go into the, the ground um, say already you gonna yard or you just want to put up something you know something very light eh? yeah so you just need you know you can do some uh, some uh, some pillars mm -hmm. even in timber mm -hmm. or steel okay eh? alafu unaekelea unaweza ekelea ta container or some other light structure yeah? oh yes some kuna, other light structure kuna manyumba nimeona zinajengwa yeah. na but, hizo containers but now uh, those ones don't stay for a long time the soil has some chemicals in it it has water so it's corrosive so if you if you just put steel it will corrode eh? yeah if you put timber without properly treating it it a cool Mchua. on our yeah? or uh, if you allow if you if, if it is not well sealed eh? maji yanze kuingia ndani itaoza unaona but uh, concrete gives you the best uh, uh, the best op i mean the be it's the best alternative because it's a bit resistant to this chemical attack eh? so those houses that we see that are built you know sometimes even two stories okay yes. at least yeah at least two stories from these containers hizo mm. zimekelewa zimekelewa tu chini utapata utapata ingine imekwe tu chini eh? flat on the ground wametandaza tu iko flat kaweka mm. over time utapata hiyo container ya chini inatoboka mm. mm. Hmm. Kuna hizi buildings ambazo they were semi permanent ambapo unapata ni foundation alafu mawe imepanda hadi mahali nusu uh -huh. alafu uko kwingine ni mbao inaendelea hata si you know hata si it's not uh, it's not a, a fully sto, stone uh -huh. building uh -huh. so it's kama hiyo yes. foundation yake will it need a, a bit less yes that is lighter uh -huh. and therefore the foundations don't have to be so wide eh? yeah. so that's an advantage you get when you use very light materials eh wewe umetumia mbao ama bambu unajua bambu zinatumika eh na wale ujenga nyumba ya ya mbao yote from juu to chini shida tu ni hiyo kuoza peke yake so that's most likely watakuwa wameweka concrete concrete on the, on the ground yeah. alafu sasa mbao ikaanzia mahali ki ikipanda. So nimekusikiza, hmm. nimesema sawa, lazima yeah. nitumie engineer kwa site yes, yes. Alafu mimi niko pale Thika. E, yes. Na ninataka kujenga nyumba yangu. Yeah. Lakini engineer amekuja ananiambia hapa na the best mawe kuchukua ni kutoka ngongo. Na mchanga <laughs> ni kutoka maimahiu. Na ninajua kuna ndarugo hapa. Ah bwana. Yeah. So reason ya ku ya hiyo decision okay. is it is it is okay. the problem the environment is the problem the engineer? What would okay. the problem no, be? No, it's not a problem. You use what is uh, closest, closest to you. It's yes. easily available. Yeah. So come on here and Arugu Nataka. What the engineer will do, mm. he'll just check and see now this one that is available. Uh, what capacity does it have? Mm -hmm. mm. Then from there he'll modify his design to accommodate, you know, the material that is available. And yes. you pray to God you get the uh, uh, you don't get a quack <laughs> calling himself a professional. <laughs> now there's a way of telling whether, whether you're dealing with a quack or not. Yes. If you go to the website of the Engineers Board of Kenya, you'll find a list. Mm. Just type in the guy's name mm. and say, where is it? Mm. If it doesn't turn up, you know it's not... Uh, yeah. Sana sana sazile, kuna fundi na kuja na kuambi, you don't need an engineer. Wacha kuaribu pe. Kuaribu pe. ile nyumba? Sindio tuliweka chuma. Yeah. Unaona ile? Sindio uh -huh. tuliweka. Uh -huh. Haji hizo chuma ziliamuliwa aje ndio zikae hizo. Eh. Uh, oh, so you, sio yeye ali decide no, hizo chuma not. zinatumiwa. He did not decide, yeah. uh, decide which ones to use. Mm. But now in his mind he says ah si ni kama ile tu. Uh. But perhaps it is not because here utapata wewe between uh, between pillars you have got wider spaces. Yeah. 
So if you start applying what they, they did in a different site, uh, at Amaliza, they kutoa formwork when a slab in Mekaivi. Amasazilo mepanda pale unakuja kuangalia vile kazi yako inaendelea ukitembe unasikia kama magoti. You know, the slab is, uh, is swinging, eh? Yeah. Unasikia magoti inakuwa soft kidogo mm. unajua hapa. Mm. Kuna shida. Kuna shida. Yeah. So, there you have it. Not all materials are appropriate for your foundation. Use a professional such as an engineer to determine what works best for the type of house you want to build, where you want to build, and most important, how it affects your finances. My name is Martin Githenji, this is Tujenge, and that's how you build your foundation better. <laughs>